all right hey everyone welcome back another episode of fallout 2020 this is our guy kind of like a badass raider type we're not calling him a raider but all right so what we're doing today we're just going to upgrade our inventory a little bit starting with our armor so i have a bunch of armor i picked up along the way killing a bunch of guys so we're just checking out what the different variations we can add on to it but first i guess i'm gonna i'm not sure about some of these pieces here we got the combat and we also have the raider type so i'm gonna try some of this stuff on and see what looks better and what looks worse because right now we just have like the standard leather which uh, i like i didn't like the combat armor chest plate because it made him look like a military guy uh let's see what the combat arm and leg look like so I do like these, they're kind of streamlined, but I don't think that's the right look for this guy on the right. The left is a better look for right now, at least. Uh, until maybe he gets involved with, uh, you know, the Brotherhood. Alright, so what we're going to do is let's try on... We got the Let It Treated. I think these are the best stuff we have, so... But we got the Raider. So see, the Raider just like welds stuff together and it looks kind of scuffed. Which looks really cool, you know, it makes it more realistic, like they actually built, you know, some from spare parts or whatever, but that's not the guy this look. I mean, I said he wants to be a raider, but uh, <laughs> that's a little too much of a protrusion for me, so I don't really like that. So, we're just going to stick with the regular stuff for now, and uh, again, I'm going to upgrade as we go along, so let's just dump off some of the stuff in the chest. That we're not going to use so we don't get too confused in the workbench. So normally when I make a video, I'm doing a voiced roleplay. I'll like edit bits like this out doing inventory management. But for the new year, I wanted to get back into making videos. And also, I never really make this type of video like just a normal let's play. There will be some edits here and there. But like I would, you know, I would edit out that little snippet where it's a different camera angle in my other game. Like I like it to look more like a movie or a TV show. Not, not as super slick or anything, but I do do a little stuff behind the scenes like editing out those types of things. And I would never really show this type of stuff, but hey, I figure I might as well have some recording of this stuff. Because honestly, in a way it seems boring, but I like watching people do this type of stuff. Uh, when I watch Let's Plays, it's pretty awesome just watching people with different ways people do their inventory and level up their stuff. So. All right, we're just looking. So we're going to do a, a stealth here. The leg is for stealth. Now, in a lot of playthroughs, I'm a hoarder. I'll put pockets on everything. Pocketed, pocketed, pocketed. You get like 50 extra, uh, you know, carry weight. But we're going to go with stealth for that. And then we're going to go for... What do we got? Okay, we don't have legendary. So we're just going to leave this one, I think. We're just checking this out. We're not going to mess with this. So yeah, I guess this already was it. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking. So, all right, let's look at the chest. So we're just upgrading. Now what I did also, I used a mod to start off at level 25. So we had some of this stuff already. Mostly for the settlement building, but it's also going to give me a rank in armor. Uh, so I can put studded leather, which uh, it's going to look a little cooler and uh, gives us a lot more protection so let's see what mods we get so here we got the lighter build padded pocketed see if you look at this stuff explosion damage well that sounds pretty cool actually so i'll think about that we got the pocketed asbestos for energy damage and fire deep pocketed for extra 20 carry weight and then we got lead line for radiation i don't really get radiated that much now we didn't rank up we can rank up a little more and get mnemonic and all this other stuff so might get that's what i'm saying this is not going to be our stuff for the whole game but i like this explosion damage so uh i think i'm gonna go for that for this particular piece i never really do that but you know what i get blown up a lot so might as well do it right okay well, what else do we have so now now you see it renames it now i could pick a modify the name but it adds all these modifiers so then they're in a different order because now it starts with padded instead of this or that you know all right, so we got shadowed, studded, stealth. Well, we don't really, we're not gonna be that stealthy of a guy. Uh, 
I think just the studded. And that should look a little different. And look like a little a little more badass, you know? And then this one we are gonna go for the deep pockets because well we get ten extra carry weight here. We'll get ten on the other side. It's like we just put a little pocket in our shoulder. I don't know what we're putting in there that weighs ten pounds, but hey. It's a video game, right? This isn't realistic. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. And uh, this should be a pretty cool looking uh, outfit now. You know, I don't know that I have it. I, there's not a lot of mods for the armor and stuff that I found. Now, it's it's probably hard to make a mod for armor because it's so modular and everything. But I think just the vanilla, this is just the vanilla stuff. You know, they got the female armor a lot, but then that doesn't look that good either sometimes. All right, I like in Skyrim. There's amazing armor and, and outfits and stuff. I don't know about this game, especially on, I'm playing on Xbox too. So, who the heck knows, right? All right, so what do we got here? We got the padded. All right, we got everything. We're done. All right, let's see what we look like. Look at that. See the studs? Now that's pretty cool. Now he looks more like a punk rocker type of guy or something, you know? Like I said, he's an outlaw, but he's got a heart of gold. No, he doesn't have a heart of gold. But uh, we're working with some guys in a minute, man. Anyway. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade. We're not going to scrap. I hit the wrong thing. All right, we're going to upgrade the not 10 mil. I like using a 10 mil pistol in these games. Uh, one of the other games I was given one, I think New Vegas maybe. You got one when you pre-ordered or got it from a certain store or something. And I used that, that, that early 10 mil a lot because it was really good early in the game. All right, so what are we doing? We got powerful receiver. What else? We got hardened, improved rate of fire damage, rapid automatic. We're not making automatic pistol. It's a little machine gun pistol. No, we don't need that. But uh, hardened. All right, well, advanced, better rate of fire. Well, that's pretty good. That's not automatic, but that we can pump off a bunch of bullets real quick. So we're basically going to go for the highest thing, but there's certain things we don't want on it that might be ranked higher than the things that aren't. All right, so like, see, we got the long barrel, the light barrel, the long ported barrel, and they all have different stats on the left that you can see jumping up and down. So as I'm doing this, I'm looking, all right, range, fire weight, accuracy, puts a little plus minus. Weight we don't care about too much, but sometimes you might want to get a light one. So I'm also looking how cool it looks. Like, that one's pretty crazy. So we got light ported, long light. I like the long, and I don't really like the ported, the look of it. So we'll go for light, knock off a little carry weight on that. I would have got comfort grip, improved recoil and hip fire, and better recoil and hip fire. And that looks really cool. We well, got the little finger grooves. So you see what I mean? It improves the hip fire accuracy and recoil because your hand fits in it better. So it's pretty realistic in a way uh, with all these buzzwords and names. But if you think about it, it makes sense. All right, so we got the quick eject mag and the large quick eject mag. So what we're doing is you can get the large mag, but reload slower. You can get the quick eject mag, but it's not bigger. We got both. We got larger and quick eject. And now to make it a little more badass, let's put a little mod on the front muzzle brake for the recoil so we're gonna have a steady steady hand when we fire this thing if we add some recoil to it um, we don't want the suppressor the silencer you know we don't we don't want that but we're gonna put the muzzle brake on improve exceptional recoil and better per shot accuracy so this thing is now looking pretty badass we're gonna we're gonna destroy some raiders with this in one shot see this is a mod and this thing is super badass look at that grip that's going to be awesome. We're going to use these later in the game and uh, check them out. All right, so let's work on the combat. Always need a good rifle in these games. So we're going to pump this up too, just the way we just did with the 10 mil. All right, so we look at, you see there's like 50 more things that we can't do yet, but we can make it powerful. This is a pretty nice gun. Now we got a bunch of damage and uh, we can change some more stuff too. So we got the short light barrel and then the regular barrel and then we got the long barrel for a real rifle now the thing is i also have a hunting rifle so we're gonna go short on the combat because this is more for the not close quarters but mid-range or you know something like that so and then we'll get out the hunting rifle you know when we're doing some hunting 
Alright, so we got large mag. Of course, we have the large mag. We don't need to be reloading all the time. You know, it's a fun mechanic, but, you know, come on. Alright, we can't add any legendaries. That must be a mod. You can add a legendary. Uh, Alright, well, we got the tire on. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to use the 44 that often, so we're not going to modify that. But here, look at this hunting rifle. It's like nothing. We're going to make this thing long, and we're going to go hunting. Uh, there's a lot of animals, but we'll probably hunt some humans, too. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of crazy critters in this game, I'll tell you that. Alright, so we got the long ported barrel, recoil, accuracy, and uh, I didn't even read all that. And the worst hip fire accuracy. We're not going to be hip firing the hunting rifle too often, you know. That's when we switch to the combat, so we'll be all right. And look at that. Well, we're not going to put a scope on this. See, we can also just change this hunting rifle into a regular sniper rifle at a scope, but we're not going to use the, that type of scope. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, what do we got? Powerful, calibrated and powerful receiver. Well, that sounds good. Best of both worlds, right? So we already leveled up enough. We're playing early game, but I leveled up a little early. So see what I mean? We got the scope. We don't want the scope, but we do want uh, one of these sights, I think. So it might help us aim a little bit. We don't don't need the big scope. All right, we'll do the, I don't even know if I want circle or dot. Definitely don't want night vision. That always throws me off. You need to have two if you got night vision, one for night and one for day, you know? You use that night vision during the day, forget it. You're done. All right, we'll just put the dot. So that should make a little dot on the guy, I guess. I don't even know. Or it might just be a dot right above where your eye goes, but. All right, what do we got, muzzle? We want one of these. They look pretty cool, not the bayonet. But we'll put the muzzle brake. What do we want? Improve, reduce range. All right, we'll do this one, compensator. So that looks really cool now. Remember how that looked a few seconds ago? It was like a little short little thing. Now we got a nice hunting rifle here. What do we got? We want a big mag? I don't know if I need the big mag. Medium? Medium looks good. I don't even know. What am I gonna do? Quick eject is good. Yeah, the medium doesn't look too bad. The big one looked like ridiculous on this gun, so. All right, I think we got it. We'll get the full stock because we don't. Marksman stock is more for the scope, so I want to make sure I didn't want to scope on this. But we're gonna do it that way. All right. So the knife. Can we do anything with the knife? No. Sometimes you can do cool stuff with that. All right. We're not gonna mess with the musket either. We'll do the shoddy. This is like a normal shoddy. Let's make this uh, powerful. Cal. Oh no, we got the calibrated powerful. Advanced. Wow. We're really leveling up here. All right. It just keeps getting better when you scroll through this stuff, right? All right, so do we want the sawed off or the short or the long? Hmm. I like the long, but we just did a long rifle, so we're just going to leave that, I guess. Maybe I'll change it to sawed off. I don't even know. All right, what do we got here? Man, I'll tell you, I've been playing New Vegas. I got like three different shotguns now, and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. But uh, three totally different ones. So uh, that has a lot of different weapons in it. That's why I started playing that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we did the shotgun too. So now we got a whole kit. All right. So this guy's ready to party, you know? All right. So what we're going to do is go into the inventory and we're going to hotkey all this stuff. So we can switch between it more easily in combat. I'll tell you, what, the one thing I do love about Fallout is that you can just go into the menu at any time or even save at any time you know and change your loadout like this guy's killing you you got a terrible gun you can switch your gun like while the guy's shooting you in the head <laughs> at any time and uh, i like that aspect of the game so i usually when i played this and i've played you know fallout 3 new vegas and fallout 4 for you know hundreds of hours like we all have but uh i never used the hotkeys that much i would just I like going in the menu. You take a minute to chill. You know, you go scroll through. You can sit there, relax in the midst of a firefight. Decide what you want to do next. But we're making a movie here, so I don't want to burden you with that every time I'm in a fight. I want to switch quickly between the stuff, so I'm learning to use the hotkeys more. You know, since I've been making videos, it just works a lot better. Because 
then it just seems more natural to the person watching the video. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, put the stuff away that we're not using. I'll keep the snub. I mean, I'm going to keep, I'll try it out. All right, what else? So I'll keep the musket. Well, we don't need all these melee weapons. I'm not going to hit someone over the head with a freaking cane like I'm an old man. We'll keep a tire iron, though, and a pool cue, because this guy would have that stuff, right? And brass knuckles, too, right? All right, so we're going to hotkey this. Or not hotkey. We're going to equip this. In the other game, you can't... Uh, the older games, you can't do both at the same time. You you can only have one primary. In this one, you can use your, uh, your other hand to throw grenades. So you can have a explosive and a weapon equipped at the same time. So look at this. This is how you switch. We got our rifle over there. Combat. And we got the hunting rifle here if we need to go sniping. And then on the other side, we got the double barrel. And that's going to cause some damage if you're up close and personal, mostly. All right. Well, look at this. We got a pretty badass dude here with his dog. And uh, I'm enjoying this character a lot. Uh, this has really been a really cool playthrough. There's not a lot going on, but I kind of just want to ease into it and relax. So what we got to do now is go give the... Uh, we have a settler here, so I realized, why don't I give her one of these guns and some of these spare parts, you know, just to better equip her, because there's only one settler here so far. And we're going to get hit by raiders. I know it. We just got hit twice last episode, uh, so this is going to happen a lot. So I should put the sack hood on them and be the sack hood guys, but we'll leave them. We'll leave it be for now. All right, where'd this lady go? Where are you at? she go oh there you're right there a little dark out sure thing all right here you go bunch of shoddy so we're gonna hook her up with that where did that go all right they got the shore i'm not gonna modify it for her or whatever now i could you know i could have done that just even just to level up a little more get a little xp but i don't really care that much but we want to give her something a little bit something extra some arm pieces. I didn't really go all out. We'll give it his chest piece that I wasn't in, I wasn't really into for this character. Looks more like a military thing, but uh, I just want to. I'm like the road warrior or whatever without a car, but you know you gotta wear the leather. All right, so now we just gotta equip it. You just gotta give him one round. The this is the way the settlements work. You give him one round, they'll never run out. All right, so I got to equip all this stuff. Let's see what she looks like with the road leathers on. Yeah, I think she's better in her own outfit than the... Uh, than the road leathers, really. Anyway, all right, well, that's it. We just did a little, little modifying this time, so thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of this. And then we're going to be starting Skyrim after that soon and the Outer Worlds as well and probably a bunch of other games too because we're going 366 days a year this year. All right. Thanks for joining.